Hey everyone, CW Music here. I'm CWD, and we're going to take a gander at this new First Aid Kit album, Ruins. First Aid Kit is a Swedish indie folk duo consisting of sisters Johanna and Clara Soderberg. Soderberg? Soderberg? My European is horrible. And this is their fourth full-length album. I slept on their last album that came out a few years ago called Stay Gold, I believe it was. But I did listen to The Lion's Roar way, way back when. It's so weird to think that The Lion's Roar came out maybe six years ago. I was in high school back then. And that album was good, but the thing about that project is that it kind of leveled off for me after a while. I just feel like the album was a bit tad overproduced for the kind of sound that First Aid Kit, at the time anyway, was known for. When I picture First Aid Kit, I picture a couple of Swedish mountain girls making intimate acoustic music about the intricacies of life. I don't picture all this showy string, all these ensemble-like horns. I didn't picture all that when I was listening to the lion's roar. I just felt like there was way too much instrumentation on that album for its own good. From what I understand, Stay Gold was pretty similar in that regard, and it would make sense considering the fact that they used the same producer. But they're going for a different producer with this album instead, so I saw no reason why I shouldn't at least give this a few more tries. I am a First Aid Kit fan. I am not a dedicated, crazy First Aid Kit fan or anything like that. But I definitely dig their sound and I definitely love the kind of platform they've set for themselves within their mark in indie folk music for this decade. Even if their music is a tad bit overproduced for its own good. When I went into this album, I was hoping for an album that was not just better than The Lion's Roar, but also showcasing the personalities of the sisters. Clara and Johanna definitely are capable singers, and they definitely invoke quite a bit of emotion. But when I went into this album, I was hoping that the instrumentation would match the vocal delivery and the personas and the charismas of both the sisters. And with this album, I definitely was getting that quite a bit. I definitely found that they're getting a lot more comfortable with the production on this album. But unfortunately, it's still shy of me loving it, considering the fact that there's just not that much differentiation from this album and The Lion's Roar. It's definitely a lot of progress made in terms of the production instrumentation and I'm definitely digging for the most part what this album has in store. This album is about 10 tracks in length, it's 40 minutes long, so it's not really lengthy, it's actually significantly shorter than The Lion's Roar if I remember correctly. 40 minutes is long enough for the album to just kind of come and go for the most part and they definitely have quite a bit of stylistic differentiation between each track. It's a track like Fireworks which is a straight up ballad driven more by acoustic guitar. There's actually quite a bit of acoustic guitar on this album which would make sense given the fact that it leans not just towards an indie folk direction, but also a alternative country, if not to a larger extent, a roots-ish country sound. Take the track Postcard, for example. I get a lot of Margot Price vibes when I'm listening to this track. Just how down-to-earth the lyricism is. I do love the pacing of the song and the piano solo that's on this track is really good. It sounds like you entered like a 1950s, 1960s little honky-tonk bar. I can say the same about It's a Shame, but I unfortunately found the instrumental lacking with this track. But the good news is, with this album, in relation to The Lion's Roar, there's less tracks on here that make me feel like that they're not that present or interesting. For the most part, there's solid songwriting and 
definitely quite a bit of presence from both Carla and Joanna. Take the track Rebel Heart, for example. What a way to enter this album. I do like the drum timbres on this track. They definitely add a lot of attentiveness to the track as a whole. And the vocal melodies are really sticky. And I do like the rhythm switch that comes on the latter half of the track. And I do like the eeriness from the vocals. Nothing matters. It's futile. I roughly feel the same way about the closing track, Nothing Has To Be True. I do like the pacing on this track a lot. It starts out pretty slow and melancholic before, and as it just gradually builds and builds and builds for a nice explosive finish. At first I thought it was a little a bit too much since I'm still kind of stuck on how overproduced The Lion's Roar was, but the thing about this album is that they have definitely grew as performers and vocalists since that album. I can definitely say that they have finally got what kind of sound they're trying to go for instead of going for all these different avenues in country folk, arguably indie pop and indie rock. Like, this sounds like a first aid kit album even if it still draws from its influences quite a bit. Take the track Him of Her Dress, for example. I do like the solo vocal and the acoustic guitar pairing throughout this track before it eventually explodes into this really triumphant vocal chorus of sorts along with all these horns being added to it, into it. I feel like that six years ago, this probably would not have worked as well as it does now. It's either that they've just been able to kind of get more comfortable and embrace this sort of production, or they found a producer that definitely was able to weave this in in a way that actually works. And the title track, Ruins, definitely is a well-constructed ballad, even if it kind of just remains the way it is. Considering that there's less than half the album that I either just think is okay or just don't really care all that much for, they still have a ways to go before they make an album that I absolutely love. Tracks like Distant Star and To Live a Life, they're okay tracks, but I just feel like that there's not enough thrown into them that keeps me engaged. Plus the vocal melody on My Wild Sweet Love doesn't really invigorate me all that much. I didn't really find that much attentiveness to what the instrumental that kind of sounds a lot like It's a Shame Except Not As Upbeat and pretty similar to Distant Star as well. There's not much to these tracks that like pop out to me and make me want to listen to these tracks as well as this album again and again and again. Still I do want to commend Clara and Johanna if I'm pronouncing their names correctly probably not, for making an album that sounds more like them. The Lion's Roar was still a good album. It was definitely likable, but not an album that I am crazy about. Around that time, they were trying to find their own sound, and with this album, I definitely think that they've solidified what a first aid kit album means. However, they still have a ways to go in terms of songwriting and just overall trying to find that equilibrium between the presence of the singer and the might of the production. I still think they have a ways to go before they can make an album that captures all this. But still I did like this album quite a bit. I definitely find a lot to recommend with this album if you're someone that loves indie folk, alternative country, Shades of indie pop and indie rock for sure. If you're looking for a indie folk and singer-songwriter band or artist that isn't going to be too bloated but isn't going to be like way too stripped back and lo-fi, then definitely check this album out and definitely check First Aid Kit out. This album is a plus 1.6 out of plus 3. I like this album, I just didn't love it. I just found that there were still moments on the album that sounded roughly the same to The Lion's Roar, but they put out an album that I thought was better than that one, and I'm definitely going to be looking forward to what First Aid Kid are going to do next. But if you give this album a listen, what you think of it? Did you like this album? Did you dislike this album? 
what was the reasoning for that, and what you consider listening to and reviewing next. CW Music here, signing off.